My name is Daniel Walbedi. I come from Bijidenka, a community south of Broome in Western Australia. I've always seen the land as water and as beaches and everything. There's my generation and there's generations before my generation that were brought up on the coast. That's the only country that we've known as home. We don't know any other place as home. But in reality, as we sort of trace back our history, even though we grew up on the coast, our people are desert people. We are descendants of desert people. I'm at peace, you know, when I'm painting. I don't really worry about anything else. I'm at one. Yeah, and I guess my spirit is at ease when I paint. I don't really think about anything else, just paint and... In regards to using colours, I always try and maybe find one way or another in trying to make the colours meet and create this marriage between the different colours. I mainly paint about the country where my father and his families have lived prior to migrating to the coast. Ever since the old people started painting, you know, all the stories came out and I really had that desire to really see this country. I've been painting this country for uh, quite a while and, and I mean, I've never been to this country, so I guess it's one way of developing that connection with that country. I'm looking forward in seeing my father's country and my grandmother's country and grandfather's country. Many of the old people still tell the stories and recall that due to drought, weather conditions, many of the water holes, you know, that was a source of water for them, dried up. Water was scarce and food was scarce. So it's still clear in their mind the reasons why they had to leave. It was many to do with the water and matter of surviving. They tell me because I'm the youngest person painting that I must paint this country to keep it alive. This experience will continue to be reflected in my paintings. I guess this is one way of maintaining it, is through art and through recording stories and having trips like this back to country.